So, Ari, you've been CEO of uh, Saragon for the last seven years. Why don't you talk about some of the uh, maybe transformations of the company that brings us here today and some of the trends that you see in the industry going forward? I'll start with a backhaul uh, overall business. Company grew very significantly over the last seven years from about $50 million a year to about $400 million a year from becoming a niche player to the number one specialist in microwave backhaul worldwide. Uh, with huge numbers of radios deployed worldwide, we have over close to half a million radios worldwide deployed, both in the U.S. and in a lot of the places, serving mainly the mobile market, but also a lot of the verticals in the different segments, and that's where we do the business. When you talk about that material growth and from a niche player to a major player, can you talk about maybe some of the core product lines that uh, kind of brought you where you are today? I think that what brought us is that our commitment to the market. It's we breathe, we eat, we go to sleep with, we wake up with backhaul and microwave backhaul, which led us really to work uh, and continue to work very aggressively around the trends that drive the market. The initial trends of growth were the moves from PDH to SDH, and then from low capacity to high capacity, and then from uh, just TDM to hybrid and then to IP. And I think that what we are doing today is really driving those same trends further as the market changes into small cell architectures, headnet architectures. We announced about three months ago in Mobile World Congress our 3H strategy or holistic headnet hauling strategies for small cells, which you can see some of the products in the background where now I'm talking with. And that's really what's going to drive and continue driving the growth within the market for us. And here's CTI. Uh, tell us about the announcements and products you're showcasing here. Uh, we announced here specific uh, inroads and products which are targeted towards the U.S. market. U.S. market has some unique uh, features and functions uh, compared to the rest of the world. And we're announcing for the first time very specific product lines which are targeted here. First, we took our disruptive IP20C product line, which allows you to do one gig in what we call a keyhole in the 30 megahertz channel. No one else has been able to do that using a 4x4 MIMO technologies. And we announced a version which is uh, high power, which is targeted towards the need in this market in 6 and 11 gigahertz. We did the same on the other extreme, we announced the IP20A in the same family, which is an all-door, highly compact, all-indoor uh, product, which allows you in 2U to do two radios, both the indoor controller unit and the radios uh, for other markets which require all indoors here. Because we believe that if we look at the U.S. market, in addition to the specific requirements, the trend will say again, capacity, 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 no footprint, very little footprint, very condensed high power solutions which will meet both vertical markets here, utilities, uh, safety, oil and gas, energies, and also in the mobile space where people need very high capacity to reach the towers both in the small cell type of a scenario of deployments and in front hauling deployments and in back hauling deployments. All right, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for joining us for today. Thank you.